Okay, welcome back guys. We're gonna do the artifact slash colorless cards right now. And I think I mentioned it in green that I didn't run a lot of enchant creature spells in, in this cube. I chose to go the route of equipment so that every color can benefit from the pump up the pump spells. So you're gonna see a few equipments in, in in this. And um as usual check the description for the cards in, in the colorless artifact section. So we're going to start off with Skull Clamp. With Ferris Bottle, for those people playing three or four colors, this is a good way to get some lands into play. Some of your colors. Bone Splitter. That's also one of the key responsibilities of artifacts is to help you fix your mana if you're running more than two colors or something like that. Bone Splitter. Inquisitor's Flail. If a quick creature would deal combat damage, it deals double that damage. And if it would take damage from another creature, uh, it takes double that damage. Shrine of Burning Rage. I'm not running all the shrines. I am only running, I think, two of them. So the red one, this one. Nodachi. Gives plus two, plus oh in first strike. Armillary Sphere, another way for you to try to fix your mana if you're running multiple, multiple colors. And uh, the other shrine I run is Shrine of Loyal Legions. So I think these two are just the two most solid ones overall, without any support. Razor Tip Whip, it's instant damage. Mask of Avacyn, gives plus one, plus two in, in Hexproof. Volshock Battle Gear gives plus three plus three. Fire Shrieker gives double strike. Dark Seal Ingot to help you fix mana to uh, whatever colors you're running, really. Luxed and Warhammer. I've drafted this card. I've uh, first picked it, second pack, and it was just brutal. It's an absolute beast. Whisper Silk Cloak. Gives Evasion and Shroud. Mana Lift, same thing as Darksteel Ingot. Vessel, same thing as Darksteel Ingot. Again, uh, the list of cards are in the description. Butcher's Creever, it pumps a creature plus 3 plus 0, and if it's a human, as you've seen, there are a lot of humans, especially in white. Humans would get lifelink if they're equipped with this. I'm running all 10 key runes in this cube. So whatever combination of colors you're playing, there's something for you. So Simic Key Ruin, Boros Key Ruin, actually not bad if you're running a Boros Beatdown deck. Orzhov Key Ruin, Gruul Key Ruin, Demir Key Ruin, Selesnya Key Ruin, is it key ruin? Golgari key ruin. Rakdos key ruin. Azorius key ruin. Yeah. Tomb. Or golem's eye. We're going to move on to the creatures here in uh, colorless slash artifacts. So we have Ornithopter. It's a 0 2, so it's not a bad blocker early game, and with the equipments you just saw, it can definitely get some, some power. Steel Wall, great early game to defend yourself. Probably not something I'd run in, in EDH though. Gold Mirror, these are a perfect example of cards that I had laying around that ended up making it in the cube. These these were in the cube before I even put the key runes in. And uh, if or when I'm going to make any cuts, most likely when, these will probably be cut before anything else. Same with P uh, Plague Mirror. I think it's the only creature in here with Infect. But it's only in here because it taps for mana. Porcelain Legionnaire, I know it's uh, one white blood mana, but you can run this in any deck. 
So I just put it in the artifact section. It is an artifact creature. Pilgrim's Eye. Saying the battery's low, that's why the, the flash just turned off. But uh, we can see just fine. It's probably actually better this way. Dark Steel Mirror, great defender. Bottle Gnomes. Peace Strider. Gains you some life when he comes into play, so 3 3 for 4. Pierce Strider. Millennial Gargoyle. Mirror Golem. Dark Steel Sentinel. 6 for a 3 3 Vigilance. Indestructible. And Flash. Lumen Grid Gargoyle. 6 for a 4 4 Flyer. Dark Steel Gargoyle. 7 for a 3 3 Flyer with uh, Indestructibility. And finally, Artisan of Kozilek. I don't think anyone's actually drafted this card yet in the cube. So I don't know if it. It's going to be OP or not, but uh, I'm thinking it won't be, so until someone actually drafts it, it's just going to stay in the cube and we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. I think I only have two left, which is artifacts, I mean, which is creatures. I'm really stumbling here, which is lands and uh, the guild colors, so thanks for watching.